the enough of poppy skill mayhem? And it's a month early? And this time it involves multi fail with multiple voice actors. I mean, I get he wants to make the stuff as good as possible. But the thing is, I've been doing that mayhem for at least two, three years. I do wonder why he will want to make the mayhem fail much early. Uh, Chris? This is actually a third year in the world that you've been trying to do this mayhem thing, Chris. And, you, and it's been good every time. Aren't you usually the one who has been doing all the work on this mayhem thing? Yeah, that's because no one else is able to help Justice out, so I'm the only one who has been doing all the work. Basically, the heavy lifting of this mayhem. He would expect good birthday fails it was in the five days of May. Specifically, every birthday for each five days. He's including himself. And so far, I'm the only one who has been doing the heavy lifting. Chris, you only did good on, the, on that mayhem birthday fail. It was last two years. And like I told Fizz, you ain't perfect. Nobody is. How about you sit this one out and let some other guys help Justice ease with that mayhem thing. You deserve a break or a vacation where you don't have to work yourself to death all the time. I'm afraid that's just it, Wooster. When Justice requested some guys for assistance, and there was, no, there was nobody else it was other than Chris helping him out on this mayhem thing. First in the last two years, Chris not only has been working on that mayhem, but also got the real got his real life chores or was piled down on him. Yeah, but Justice is Chris's friend. And helping friends out is a big deal to Chris. He's been his friend since he has he's been help helping Justice out with that spaghetti, hey dragon guy. Guys, guys. I know, and Justice will, will probably need my assistance again. And those mayhem birthdays are a big deal to him. And you are right, Fizzawali. He and I became friends ever since, as we've been hunting together for his things. I can't just abandon it. I'd be laying Justice and his Popescue family down. Excuse me? You got some explaining to do. What are you talking about, Tubby? We have done nothing wrong to you, nor your family. Oh yeah? Then why did you explain the screenshot I took? That's basically you as an example so you reuse that surgical paper doll. You would honestly fit as an example, because you would be dumb enough to play with that paper doll in the first place. Not to mention doing any sort of dumb things to begin with. Well, that example has made me a laughing stock and cohort. I've heard in newspapers that said... Peter Griffin got beaten by a kid. Okay, look. The only reason Husker made that example was because you have been made as a good as paying the bill for that example. Because you obviously would do various dumb things. Destroying the vaccines is one of those examples. Using the power of quote unquote cutaways so you can get everything, including Quagmire's whip. Even denying criticisms. Which are mostly, if not all, 100% correct. You don't shut your mouth, Chris. My life is not the issue here. It does seem like it is. It's judged by your tone. Peter, you've been constantly trying to throw Kohak into chaos since the start of your series. And like Robin of the TG Titans, you have been avoiding responsibilities. Always have. You even constantly tortured your daughter Meg the entire Almost the entire series. You shut your mouth, you. Hey, watch your mouth, Peter. There could be kids nearby. Possibly even mine. Oh, like your so called happy, perfect family, huh? Newsflash normal families fight and like spending time away from each other. Big talk for someone who always mistreats his friends and family. I'll stick your car to your mouth, cat. And just to prove that Phil is wrong, I'm gonna take this paper doll and I'll just whip it and have it in front of you all. Now you're just proving our point. I'm gonna do it and I'm not afraid to do such. And I'm gonna prove to you all that this is nothing but a darn old paper doll and that girl is not going to haunt me for the rest of my life. See? Nothing happened to me. It's just a dumb game those kids made up. Uh, what was that?
I told you, that was Sachiko's paper doll. Anybody that tears, tears that paper apart are bound to be visiting Sachiko at that Heavenly Host School. I'm sure it's just a breeze. Oh, you think so? You might as well take a look at those two torn pieces of paper and see what they're doing right now. What? Oh, wait. Oh, that's, that's, that's impossible. No, 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 please. I, I'm sorry. sorry. Just get me out of here, please. Too late for that. Hey, you're the one who said that we're wrong, and now you're going to have to pay the price. No, please. No! Well, that certainly proved the theory to be correct. Yeah, but I think we should get Peter out of there before, before Lois will get all mad at us. Yeah, you do have a point there. Still, though, that Peter Griffin guy should think twice before doing doing that sort of thing. We looked at just Jesus' list of people who are wa wanting to help him out, but there isn't much people. Your yeah, we pickings for aid are rather slim these days. Figure as much? I guess it'll probably be up to me to do the heavy lifting on this mayhem thing. So it was you who made those fails these past few years. The Papa Skew family were grateful for those past birthday fails. I mean, are you certain that you're able to do that, Chris? And this is, is just these mayhem birthday fails he is talking about. Probably. I'm not as good as some fail makers, but I tend to do my best. Christopher, we are in need of you to meet here with the other Ledgerman leaders. Oh, right, Historia, I'm coming. You really think we might be putting too much work on him? Maybe. We just don't want him overworking so much that he might just drop dead. Chris knows Oz. But if nobody else is coming to help Justice, then it will have to be Chris. He doesn't want to disappoint his friends, nor his family.